Well, good morning, and welcome to Let's Play, where we play games in my Steam and GOG library. I'd like to start off by saying a big thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate you. I also appreciate everybody who leaves a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comments to the videos. And if you like the videos, well, feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. And if you don't want to miss any videos, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for all notifications so you don't miss anything. Now, today we're continuing this adorable little game, A Short Hike, which is the game that Haven Park was compared to. And again, like I say, while similar in some ways, I think that the they both have their uniquenesses, um, if that's a word. They're both unique enough that nobody ripped anybody else off. Oh, let's see, where are we? Claire, don't fall. There. Okay, I forgot what my options were. Keyboard. F. Okay. X. Wow, it's pretty bad when I can't remember my own controls, huh? Space. Hawk Peak and Good Creek Path. Okay. All right. So, Blackwood Trail and Royal Ridge. Well, now we would like to go down because I just saw cute tower. Oh, and the tower has a big golden chest on top of it. Ooh. Okay. So we want to figure out how to get up to that. And I'm guessing the best way to do that is flight. I know I've done this one before. There we go. And we got a golden feather. We're up to five. Yay. I found a treasure map. Ooh. How do I use that? It's less of a map and more of a bunch of riddles. Read. It says... South of the stone tower, across the river bridge, a lonely seat sits crumbling upon the royal ridge. 
And I think I actually found that treasure before I even found the map. That's funny. I found three sticks. I don't know what they're for, but I found them. And I can't remember how many shells we're up to. Eight. Okay, so we need to find seven more. Oh, there's a coin over here. All right. Okay, I don't think there was any shells over here. Sandy, little bit of. Oh, there's a chest here. Which I got a few coins from. Right, we need to find Blackwood Forest because we're supposed to be looking for somebody's missing headband. Hawk Peak, Good Creek, Royal Ridge, Blackwood Trail. Okay, Blackwood Trail is this way. view of the game there. What's that up there? Another chest, maybe? Okay. We're stuck. There we go. this spot. I don't know. But I see a coin down here. Those feathers really do help. Blackwood Trail is down below. Did we totally miss it? What's in here? Another chest. Oh, the fishing guy. How's it going? Good. The fish are biting today. Cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I could show you if you'd like. Yeah. Here. I'll lend you my spare rod. You found a fishing rod. Casting your line is pretty easy. Just press F.
So, uh, what do I do now? Yeah, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, am I doing this right? Yep. <laughs> Maybe I should cast it again. You know, find a better spot. This spot is good. I saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes, you just gotta wait. Patience is key. Hmm. Not my strong suit. Well, I know that feeling. Not always mine either. Look alive. A fish is nibbling. Should I pull it out? Not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. Now, press F to yank it out. You caught a fish, common carp. See? Easy as pie. I don't know if I'd say that. I suck at baking. I guess I mean as easy as eating pie? I can get behind that. So, you hit F, and you cast your line. Then you wait. And we've got a nibble. Whoop. Kind of like real life. You sit there and you wait. And you wait. And then you hit F repeatedly until you catch your fish. Okay. You caught a fish. Northern Pike. Nice. I wonder if there's a whole bunch of fish to catch. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk to the guy. So what do I do with the fish? Whatever you want, kid. Oh, we have a shell. I'm so stoked to eat breakfast, but it's already the afternoon? Tomorrow's breakfast. It's the best meal of the day. Sometimes when I'm about to go to bed, I get so excited about the by the thought of thought of it that I have trouble sleeping. So what makes breakfast so great? Dang. You ever had a pancake before? Yeah. Bacon, waffles, eggs, French toast, a fruit bowl? Yes, to all. So you know what I'm talking about. Don't mind me just daydreaming about cinnamon waffles. <laughs> oh, well, that's one, one breakfast-obsessed frog. Okay. Now, we've actually learned how to fish. Which is kind of neat and fun. And now, we're still looking for that girl's red headband. So, back the way we came. That was a fun little side trip, though. Alright, oh, here. Sign, which way are we going? We're going down. Okay. There's the lighthouse. Oh, that's what that was we were at earlier. The lighthouse. Anything up top? I don't know, I can't tell. Can't really see it. Did we talk to him already? What river are you gonna follow? Probably the one on the west side of the mountain. It's higher up. Okay.
Huh, nothing yet. Well, her scarf or his, her headband's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I thought maybe that was something, but it's not. Oh, uh, weird question, but where'd you get that headband? Uh, I don't know. I've had it for ages. Why? Uh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit. She said she lost her headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe. I didn't get her name. She was really worried about it, though. She said it was lucky and she needs it to race. I'm supposed to race her later today. She's so talented. I've been really looking forward to it. Hmm. What if I gave you mine? I'm pretty sure it's the same kind. Maybe she wouldn't notice? Oh, hmm. But then it wouldn't be lucky? I don't know. Just take it. See if she wants it. Okay, so we found a headband. Which may or may not actually be hers. Now we have to find her again. Any luck finding my headband yet? Well, I found this. Hmm, that's not it. The sweat stains aren't in the right place. Ew. Where did you find this? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. They said you could have it. They're looking forward to the race and didn't want you to miss it. What? Really? Taylor the turtle? They're like the regional champion. This headband has to be like at least twice as lucky, possibly even quadruple lucky. Okay, I'll take it. I'm so pumped. Take these running shoes. You found a running shoes. You can hold R to run with them. However, just keep in mind that running requires golden feathers. So do you really think it's luck? Well, I don't know. I've gotten this far and it's just me. Like, it's gotta be luck. Well, maybe a little, but you're so fast and you've trained so much. You've got this far because you're good. Aw, yeah. I know. I think I've known it all along. But, I don't know. I get so nervous. Sometimes I wonder if this is all a fluke. But you're right. I don't need luck. Here, you can have the headband back. I'm going to do this all on my own. You found a headband. Whoa. Thanks. Good luck in the race. You've got this. Sorry, I can't chat right now. I've got to prepare mentally and physically for the race. See ya. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the headband. It's the turtle's headband. Looks sparty. I guess we're going to wear it. So why are you going to Hawk Peak? I'm going to take some great nature shots from the top. I wouldn't call myself a photographer, but it's just a fun hobby. I'm going there too. Oh yeah? I heard that it's a long hike. It is, eh? My aunt's always like, it's just a short hike anyway. But she's a total outdoors geek, so I think she underestimates it. I'd say so. So we have to hit R? Huh. Oh, another stick. I don't know why I'm collecting sticks, but I apparently am. And I think we're back at the beginning? Yeah. Another stick. Which I still don't know why we're collecting them. That's the little girl we're looking for shells for. We haven't found them all yet, so she won't talk to us. Nope, that's not a shell. That's right. I checked the very first time. down here. Oh, 
Oh, there's a feather up here. Whoa. The city has really been growing, huh? Oh, this isn't a sand city anymore. This is a sand province. This time, I'm running for premier in provincial elections. Sure, I wasn't elected as mayor, but this time, I'm really doubling down on outreach, and I'm promoting policies I really think will resident, resonate with my key districts. Once I'm elected, I'll be able to use my provincial influence to finally exert control over the city that shunned me. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Whoa. And the first legislation I'll pass will exist to consolidate my allies in Parliament. The second legislation, free candy for all. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. I got it. Now I'm up to six feathers. Very nice. So, how's the campaign going? Super good. Jim doesn't actually own a shovel, so he wasn't able to dig any of it up. Well, that's too bad for Jim. Maybe I'll share my shovel with him if I find him. Let's see, we want the shovel. Okay, that's just a rock. All right. This. I don't know, but I can't do anything with it. you before? Hi. My nephew is running in the marathon. He's been out training all morning. If you see him out there, make sure he's taking breaks. Sure. Are you Avery? Yes, that's me. Did you read my ad? The sign? Yeah. Great. So, you want to race? Later. Oh, well. All right, then. Five more. Anything in here? I don't know. Let's check. Nope. There's a coin over here. And this is way too high for us. Yep, way too high. But, is this too high for us? Ah, try again. Okay. Let's 
Uh, just a little bit too high. Okay. Anything down here? Ooh, what's this? We're on top of a... I don't know what looks like an apartment of some sort. What's this? Oh, it does look like some sort of apartment. And there's an old tractor here. Picnic table. Anything down there? I don't want to go back down there and find out, because I don't think I can climb back up. Okay. Oh, oh, I can get down here. Coins over here. Oh, and a chest down here. can't get back up there. There's all sorts of places to climb. Oh, whoa, I did not know that. We have 11 shells now, and I don't know what the six are for, but we have six of them. Go this way. See if we can't find any more shells on this side. Whoa! Hey! Looks like you got the new net set up. Are you two going to play volleyball? Volleyball? Nah. We invented our own game. I think it's going to be the next big thing. Alright. Claire. Yeah? I formally challenge you to a game of beach stickball. Ooh. That means you have to play. Yeah. You have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay. I'll play. Yay. So, how do you play? Step over to the other side of the court, and I'll teach you everything I know. You gotta go to the other side to play. So, beach stick ball has only three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your stick. Yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie is the ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three, believe in yourself. That's the most important rule. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? I guess so. Okay, ready, set, go. Oops, did I lose? Nope, you can never lose. When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins. Except if you pop the ball. Then I guess you lose. Otherwise, beach stick ball is a purely co-op game. You mean co-op game? Yeah, a co a coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we can get to 10 points, I'll give you a prize. Okay, ready, set, go. Ah. Okay. I count it four hits but I count it five. 
The serve doesn't count. What? It totally counts. What do you think, Claire? It counts. Yeah, see? Fine. You get five points, then. I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, it would help if I was hitting the right button. Hitting G instead of F. I count it seven hits. Not bad. keep pulling beach balls out of his ear. I count it seven hits. I counted 15 hits. Yes, we did it. As promised, I've got a prize for you. Take this. You found a golden feather. You're really good. With your skill, we might even be able to make it to 20. But that would still be pretty hard. Okay, here we go. We'll try it one more time. Ah. Okay, that's enough. Hey, Julie. Hi. How's the day going? We're going to play games all day. Sounds fun. So, do you love it? Beach stick ball? Yeah. I like it. Thanks for showing me the game. Thanks for playing. You're the best, Claire. Okay. Well, that was a cute distraction that I wasn't expecting. And she got another gold feather. The bonus. Oh, wait. What's this? Is this a graveyard? Oh. Whoa. And it starts raining. Okay. Um. Don't know why there's a graveyard up here. But there is. Wow. And it, it's storming now. Hello again. You want to race me? Later. Oh well. Alright then. chest over there? Is it one we've gotten? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. think even with as many feathers as we have we could now nah. that's way way too high I 
I did not even know it would rain in this game. What's this? I found a pickaxe. Found a couple pickaxes. What are those for? I don't know. Oh, more coins. More pickaxe. Okay, we can go from one side of the island to another via the tunnel now. Okay, and it's raining on this side of the, but not the other side. Interesting. Electrical pole. Now you think if there were electrical poles here, you'd be able to get some sort of reception at this point. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Down here. Oh, another shell. I only have to find one more, yay. Doesn't look like I'm not. Oh. I found them. I found them all. Wait, what's here? What's in here? The way forward is blocked. Okay. So. Wherever that comes or goes to, we have to unblock at first. Oh no, that's way too high. Okay. Anything over here? Might as well. Good thing we looked. Some more coins. Another shell, even. Ah, now we've now we know one thing they put more shells than you need and two it's easy to find them all if you just look around yo this updraft is on point you can get some sick dives on it how do you dive oh dang it's easy but it takes some practice you got to hear me out first you got to be gliding as you know, you glide by holding space. Then, if you're high enough off the ground, release all arrow keys to dive downward. But you must still remember to hold space. That's the tricky part. With a good dive, you can build up a lot of speed. You can practice by gliding over this updraft. That'll give you a lot of height to work with. Okay. Yeah, I'm just chilling here, soaking up these sweet, sweet rays. As long as I got my SPF 50, I could lie here for sweet, sweet days. Sounds nice. Dang, you know it. It's nice to like some rice with spice. Okay. 
cheesy penguin is cheesy. Okay, I guess we've been this way, so let's see if there's anything this way past the practice spot for updrafts. Nope, but we can use the updraft to get started going that way, can't we? Well, if we actually held the space button, maybe. Oh, well. well that helps. Okay. So we've been here. And. Whoa, another shell. Might as well grab it. Won't you be surprised to know that I brought her back more than 15 of them? And we're back into the rain. Apparently, this section of the beach is rainy. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. <gasps> Woohoo! We have 300 coins now. What's this? Okay, it's just... A dot. Oh, a sign. Orange Islands. Orange Islands? Okay. I don't think I've ever been here before. Ugh. Ugh. Um, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm dying of boredom. Oh. <clears throat> this is a very serious problem. Is there anything I can do? All I wanted to do was ride the boat, but no. You're not allowed. You have to wait until you're older. Well, guess what? I'm older now. That was five minutes ago. Ugh. Hashtag worst dad ever. Now hold on there. I'll take you out later. But later is a million years away. Oh, woe is me. I'll never get to ride the boat. <laughs> Why must the world be so cruel? Oh, woe is me. Okay. Yeah. We're done listening to you whine. Thank you. Hey, Claire. How's it going? Um, I'm alright. How's business? Quiet. At least I'm getting some good reading time in. Is the motorboat booked today? Nope, not yet. You want to take a first spin? The rental fee is 100 coins. Ah, maybe later. Alright, talk to you later. 100 coins to ride the boat, huh? Welcome to the Orange Islands. Despite living in the shadow of Hawk Peak, this small cluster of islands has garnered a unique reputation of its own. Are you able to guess how these islands got their name? Uh, it's the color of the rock, obviously. It will probably surprise you, but the islands are named after the color of their rock. Now that rocks. For centuries, travelers have been dazzled by the streams of yellow, red, and orange that flow through these cliffs. But what gives these stones their vibrant color, you ask? Well, that's simply iron oxide, you see. Now you know. You've actually learned something new today. Hmm. I feel patronized somehow. That's funny. That's actually 
That was actually cute. Oh, there's a chest here. Uh, we're up to 323 coins. Okay. Got a nice big bridge here. Oh, what's this? The Helianthus, the Sultan, the Sultan, uh, I'm not even going to try. Rubber flower. Hawk Peak Provincial Park's official flower. This unique species blooms instantly in flash flooding conditions, inflating like a water balloon. Experience it for yourself with one of the park's communal water buckets. All buckets are property of the park. Please do not remove buckets from the park. Hmm. A bucket full of water seems heavy. I don't think I could fly or climb carrying a bucket full of water, but I could probably still glide. Say. Okay, how do I empty the bucket? Press F to scoop or pour. But I was doing that. Oh, I need to scoop up water. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go back to, I don't know, something else. Okay, and it's raining here too. Another one of those flowers. That's funny. They pop when they bloom. I think that's about it for... Okay. Let's move to something else. We don't want to be holding that. Did we equip these? I guess we must have. Oh. Oh. I did not know that either. You can use the flowers as a you can use the flowers as a trampoline. There's a chest. You found a treasure map. I found another treasure map. Which map should I read? Stormy view. It says, upon a stormy cliff top, one should pause to see the view, peer through an earthly window, gold is hidden in the blue. Oh. I think I might know what they were talking about. Because this seems to end here. I think they might have been... I don't know. Maybe not. Because there's a bunch of these little tiny islets. Okay. Maybe that's why you want the boat, huh? There's a boy. Buoys mean that we're going a little too far out. And there's another one of these updrafts. this way? Hmm? 
Ooh, slid off. Okay. But no, I think the next spot they're talking about is near the graveyard where we found the viewfinder because in the viewfinder there was okay that's just fun in the viewfinder we did see a treasure chest okay at least I'm pretty sure what that that's what that meant And up here, we could go fishing here if we wanted to. There's actually a lot to do for a simple game. There's a couple things we've passed up doing so far. Like the boat ride, because we don't want to waste our coins right now. And... The race with the other little kid. So it was around here somewhere. Where was it? Go back up. It was up here. Because there's part of the graveyard right there. And back. Where was it? Somewhere around here. And there's our little volleyball game down there. Okay, you're a bird, you can fly, but you can't get over a stone wall. Oh, it's right here. Yep, see, right there. Somewhere. Oh. We flew out way too far. It's a good thing our bird can swim. Is it? Where is it? It's around the Orange Island somewhere. There's the bridge we saw. Pretty sure that's the bridge we saw. Ooh. Point up here. Oh, 
nothing there. Okay, where is it? I know I saw it around here. Oh, I guess we'll just have to pause here where the boat at the boat ramp and we'll try to find that chest next time because it's around there somewhere. But until then, bye for now.